Hello and welcome back to Phil's Drone Zone. So previously having uh, used Keynote to help um, make the animated map, to um, create the video wall and also the animated film strip, thought it might be cool if we could, if Keynote could help um, make these beautiful um, and elegant um, postcard style uh, split screens. So let's just uh, pop straight into uh, Keynote and let's see how we use Keynote to help make the templates. Okay, so once in Keynote you can see I've got a, a standard widescreen slide um, with black background um, which is important for later when we go to um, Keynote. So I'm just going to do the um, diagonal lines effect uh, split screen. So I just draw a line and position my line where I need it to be and then I'm going to resize the line, the line somewhere to around about uh, 12 points or 15 points. It's really up to you um, what you need. Then I'm just going to copy and paste um, so that I have two parallel lines and then I'm going to create a line and just join up the um, line to the outside where the two other um, just zoom in and just check that all the joins are actually uh, lined up properly so I have now four spaces I'm going to now add the rectangle which I'm going to convert to a border we'll make that somewhere around 15 or 16 points and bring in the edges so that the border is inside the um, frame and once you've done that, just check again that everything is where the joins are. All the joins are nice and neat and you can't see any problems. Okay, and that's it, you're done. So then just export it as a PNG file um, to wherever you want it to go. And that's it. Now, if you're working with other shapes, um, for example, if you want to put in a circle, um, hold down shift while you're resizing it, and then you can put that in the middle. You do exactly the same thing, no fill, and you have your line set at whatever you want. 10 points for a circle, pretty good. And then just add the other lines as you see fit. Um, and the yellow line will help you to center it and do exactly the same. Um, for the lines, and that's it, you've, you've pretty much done. That's how you make these templates. There are a lot of different shapes that you can also use um, as clothes and electronics, animals, and for example, you have a, a monitor here which you can resize, and then do exactly the same, no fill, the line, and then resize the line to taste about eight points. It's fine for that one. And the globe that I actually use, the transparent globe that's down here somewhere, I think it's just after people. And yeah, there it is, there are all your globes. And resize, again, make sure when you're resizing a circle you hold down shift so that it um, sizes, um, doesn't um, cause a problem and uh, distort the shape. And that's pretty much, make sure with, with these lines on the globe, um, always uh, make sure that three is about right for um, the line size on the globe. And that's it. Okay, so let's go into Final Cut Pro. Um, you can see um, I need, I've got four clips all lined up, one after the other. Now, because there are a lot of layers, um, I'm going, going to actually just make them more visible. Um, and so I'm going to go to this little icon and click that one, which will just make them into layers so I can see everyone. I'm going to disable the top clip and then I'm going to add my um, frame and made in Keynote. You can see it doesn't work. No problem, just bring over the Luma Kia and now you can see it works. Let's disable the top clip so I can work with the others. I'm just going to use the transform tool now, this little icon here, and uh, I'm going to transform, um, meaning I'm going to reduce the size, and then I'm going to position them to where I want them to be. 
just zoom in to have a look. We make sure we've got a very good fit there. And yeah, that seems to be okay. Okay, so now we'll uh, work on the second one, which is going to the top right hand corner. And once again, we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're just going to resize it and position it. And yeah, something like that. Let's zoom in just to make sure that we've got good edges there. And yeah, that looks okay to me. And then we're going to go to our third clip. And in this one, we're going to use um, the transform, the crop tool. So we're going to crop the edges and just uh, play with the crop until you've got it at the right size and you've got it in the position that you want it to be. And so for me, I want to get some of the land and some of the lake in there so I'm going to just play a little while with the with the crop until I've got it exactly as I want it to be. Now let's position it and something like that will be fine. So I've got some seed and some land in there. And then we come on to we're going to enable the final clip and this time I'm going to use a shape mask. Um, a draw mask. So I'm going to uh, put my first point up in that corner, second point in that corner, and then we're going to complete from corner to corner. We're just going to add this draw mask. And then the final one will complete the mask. And just check and adjust your mask so that it's a really good fit. And check all four corners so that you've got a really nice um, fit. You notice that I haven't used any feather, I don't want any feather in this. And there you have it, you have a really nice um, split screen effect. For our circles, I'm going to use a different mask as you can see, I've got them all set up. I've got the first four done, and then we'll enable the um, final clip, and this time I'm going to use a shape mask. I hold down shift and then I'm going to um, resize that to the outside edge and then take the feather off. I don't want any feather and then I'm going to bring in the outer ones again holding down shift key while I'm resizing and then finally I'm going to bring those up and hopefully now we're going to have a perfect fitting mask. And then just check, yeah, that looks really nice. Um, so we've got a perfect mask in the middle. And it really is as simple as that to do. And you've created this beautiful effect. Keynote is such a versatile uh, program. And I'm going to keep looking um, to see if there are other ways that I can use Keynote to help Final Cut Pro um, and enhance your Final Cut Pro projects. Um, if you like the video, uh, please give us a big thumbs up and uh, don't forget if you, to share the video if you think that other people will benefit um, from having a look themselves. Okay, um, don't forget uh, as well to hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you can stay updated in any, for any future videos that I upload. And all that remains to be said now is see you in the next video.